the Tower of Hanoi will get into your head. You can only move one at a time and you can never have a larger one on top of a smaller one. Hey, it's Jake Wizard 4 here at Faraday Studios, home of Midnight Science Club and the world's, according to the Library and Congress, we have the world's largest collection of science activities by a factor of 10. It's because we've been collecting them for 225 years. Almost a quarter of a millennia. What's a millennia? Isn't it a uh, thousand years? Thousand years, yeah. Well, there's an old, 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 oh. hundreds of years old practice to sharpen your, your thinking skills. It's a game. Oh, it's a game. That's not like, you know, chess is a game, right? Check all those things. But this one, right here it is. This is old, brother. And that's why we this this one belonged to Mr. Wizard himself. Whoa. So describe what it is. So it's a board. It's a board. With three wooden pins in it. Three wooden pins. Seven discs. Seven discs. Wooden discs with a hole in it. Yeah, and holes. put on there. This is called, uh, it's got several names. The Tower of Hanoi, the Tower of Brahma, Brahma, mm -hmm. Brahma, or the Lucas the stack. Lucas, Lucas. Lucas the the uh, I think he was an Englishman that developed this in uh, the middle 1800s, and it was a practice device to ch teach young people how to focus their thinking and solve a problem and look for patterns. And it's a simple little thing. It doesn't have to be exactly seven. Oh, so you don't have to. Yeah, you can have more. Or less. You can have more or less. So big deal. That sounds kind of a drag. It's not an electronic game, is it? Nope. Oh, but this gets way down deep into your brain. You know, you're playing video games all the time with your thumbs, right? This silly thing, the Tower of Hanoi, will get into your head. So here are the rules. You have to move these discs from one peg to another. Doesn't matter where you start. Ah, oh, but, of course, that would be too simple. You can only move one at a time. And you can never have a larger one on top of a smaller one. Ooh. That's forbidden. You can have all the smaller ones. This one on there, that works because it's smaller on top of the bigger one, right? So you can make this out, make these out of anything. You know, these fancy wood ones, you know, you can buy them online for $30, you know, a set made fancy, or you can make your own. I made one, a set, uh, stuff at the hardware store. I got some washers. You could use just washers, but I glued nuts on there just to get spaces. But see, I've got yeah. I've got a piece of wood and I pounded three rods in, or you can take nails and cut off the head, anything. And there's no set way to make them. And it looks simple, but it is not. And you have to look for patterns. So let's just get you started. See how you do. Just move, move them. Which one are you gonna move it to? It doesn't matter. You're moving, okay. There you go. So now what else can you do? Move here to here. Yeah, that's all you can do. That's the next move, right? So yeah. go ahead and do that. You'll figure it out. And remember, you can't put a bigger one on top of a, right? So what's what would have to be your next move? This to here. Oh, yeah. You're getting it. Okay, yeah. I, uh, I, okay now I'm... Are you, are you seeing a pattern, yeah, you think? I feel like this. I, oh, I you, that, you picked up two there. Don't pull that. You, did you pick up two at the same time there? You sneaky weasel. Can't do that. You see how you did that? So now I go like this. Put that one on there. Uh -huh. Put that one on there. That one over here. Uh, don't uh, see you're trying. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 mm -hmm. You see him. Here's him. But you started to see a pattern, didn't you? Mm -hmm. You started to see. You're not completely yet. Because it starts to go this, and then you go like that, and now you can't move this one anywhere because it's going to be a. You go well. I screwed up somewhere there, didn't I? Yep. This is really a great activity to get students to learn how to organize their thinking and focus their thinking to solve a riddle. When the teacher's not looking, you can cheat like that. The old story was the original Tower of Brahma. They had a stack of 64 of these. And if you moved one every second, like move one thousand, one thousand two, you know, you did it about that fast. Mm -hmm. And if you had 64 discs high, you know, doing the back and forth, how long do you think it would take to, to, to move 64 of these? A minute and four seconds. Oh yeah. Catch this. The story is 585 billion years. Once you once you try to get up to a dozen or 15 of these in a stack, you go, this is going to take forever. The satisfying point is when you see the rhythm, you see the pattern, and then you can do it pretty quick. So show me the one that you made with the grandpa. Do you have that around here? What did you make? 
The Tower, the Tower of Hanoi. Beckett. Sure. Is that a Hanoi thing? So you got a piece of wood. Yep. And then we got some nails with their heads cut off. Yeah, and what did you use for your discs? Coins. Coins? Well, show them, show them to everybody. Lay them out there if you can see them. So you can make these out of anything. I was thinking about making, making them out of uh, jar lids. But check it out, do a little research on the Tower of Hanoi or the Tower of Brahma or the Lucas Stack Math Puzzle. All right, say goodbye, folks. Bye, folks.